The planet is no longer nature. It's no longer the external world. It's now the content of an artwork. The planet, nature has ceased to exist. Well, I think we were anticipating a century, perhaps. But, uh, but uh, when you put a man-made environment around the planet, you have, in a sense, abolished nature. Nature from now on has to be programmed. Uh, Mark, I think we're begging to answer some of these questions. One of them is that we have not yet put a man-made environment around this planet totally. We've not abolished nature yet. We may be in the process of abolishing nature forever. The, the environment uh, is not visible. It's information. The river it's electronic. The well, nonetheless, nature still exhibits manifestations which defy which all methods of collecting information and data. For example, a, uh, an earthquake may occur or, or, or a, uh, a tidal wave may come in. The information will lag critically behind our ability to control it because Not even whatever. though there, there may be all sorts of instruments which are warning us of the possibilities. The experience of that uh, event, that disaster, is felt everywhere at once. Under a single date time. But that's not the same as controlling nature, dominating oh, no, nature. Oh, no, no. Just uh, superseding nature. It's oh, far from that. Oh. I mean, nature still does exist as, as, a, as a protagonist on this oh, yes. planet. Oh, no. But it's like our Victorian uh, mechanical environment. It's a, uh, a rearview mirror image. Uh, every age creates as a utopian image a nostalgic rearview mirror image of itself, which puts it thoroughly out of touch with the present. The present is the enemy. The present is the, uh, and this will delight you, uh, Norman, the present is only faced in any generation by the artist. The present, the artist is prepared to study the present as his material because it is the area of challenge to the whole sensory life and therefore it's anti-utopian. Uh, it a, it's a world of uh, anti-values. And the artist who comes in contact with the present produces an avant-garde image that is terrifying to the contemporaries. What is going on here? Come on, Sylvia. Good morning. Good morning.